Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the creamiest mashed potatoes. These mashed potatoes are so creamy. Name that movie. It's one of my favorites. Now, you definitely want people saying your mashed potatoes are the creamiest at your holiday table or even just your regular weeknight dinner table. And I am going to show you how to do it. I'm going to start by pouring 64 ounces of chicken broth here into a large pot. It'll take a bit to get them out. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. You can always use water to boil your potatoes, but I prefer chicken stock because it brings a whole extra layer of flavor to your potatoes. Next, I have five peeled russet potatoes or about five pounds. Mine are really big and they're one pound each. We're going to chop these up. You want these cut into about one inch chunks. So I'm going to slice it in half and then slice each piece in half again and then give it a rough chop. You want them to be about the same size and the smaller the pieces are, the faster it'll cook. So you don't want them too big, otherwise you're going to be waiting forever for these potatoes to boil. Once you've got all your potatoes cut up, carefully transfer them over to that pot of boiling chicken stock. Bring the broth back up to a boil and let the potatoes simmer until they're nice and tender, which should take about 15 minutes depending on how big your little chunks are. Once your potatoes are nice and tender, use a slotted spoon to transfer them to a large mixing bowl. Using a slotted spoon allows you to easily reserve your cooking liquids in case you need to thin out your potatoes later. You want that good starchy chicken broth to use for it. Next, we're going to add in half a cup of butter. A chef once told me that the best mashed potatoes are pretty much half butter, half potatoes. Then we're going to also add in four ounces of cream cheese. I'm a huge fan of adding cream cheese to mashed potatoes. I love the extra creaminess that it brings, but if you don't like cream cheese for some crazy reason, just leave it out. Then we're going to add in half a cup of buttermilk. You can easily use regular milk for this as well. And then a teaspoon of salt. Now my biggest secret for creamy mashed potatoes, a hand mixer. We're going to whip this right up. The heat from the potatoes is going to melt our butter and cream cheese. Kind of get that down in there as well. You want to whip this until every single chunk has been whipped into a soft, pillowy frenzy. And that's it. Before you know it, people will be sitting around your dinner table just like on while you were sleeping commenting, these mashed potatoes are so creamy. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.